All right, so Jackson Ankle is on the fourth day of his whiny, cringe, loser tour. Uh, we had a conversation, I believe, on Wednesday evening, and he is very, very, very convinced that he won the argument, and then he's been tweeting about this conversation that we had. So much, some of his tweets got thousands and thousands Thousands of people making fun of him because what he said was stupid. He said that nurses, teachers, and social workers are not working class. They're actually upholding capitalism. That's right. A social worker, an elementary school teacher, and a nurse in a pandemic, they're actually upholding capitalism. They're not working class. They don't work. That's what Jackson Inkle said. And he got thousands of people, most of which had no idea that we even had a conversation about the subject, laughing at him so much. He became such a mockery on Twitter that search terms in relation to the argument were trending for me. And he actually felt so embarrassed that he deleted his tweet on the subject. So that was yesterday in his cringe tour. But this morning... All right, well, last night this was posted, but this morning I caught wind of it because I sleep early because I have a good sleep schedule. <laughs> um, so this morning I saw this and apparently Jackson Inkle posted an edited clip of Richard Wolf that made it sound like Richard Wolf was agreeing with something that Jackson Inkle said. Uh, so apparently Richard Wolf was on some show and Jackson Inkle, like, uh, this is an appeal to authority, right? Jackson Hinkle posts a highly edited version of this interview that Richard Wolf uh, had on the Surfs, I believe. So the Surfs posted a counter uh, that shows the parts that uh, Richard Wolf originally said that were edited out of Jackson Hinkle's version and the full clip. And lo and behold, isn't it interesting? that the parts that Hinkle edits out are the parts that have to do with intersectionality. Now, Jackson Hinkle, in our conversation, doesn't believe in intersectionality. He doesn't care about transgender people, gay people, black people. He thinks that Black Lives Matter is a distraction from the working class. He thinks that trans equality is a distraction for the working class. He thinks that talking about any social issue is actually bad because no one cares and it makes the working class more divided. That's right. It's not on people that are working class that hate gay people. They're fine. They can continue to hate gay people. But when the gay people say, hey, why do you hate me so much? All of a sudden it's divisive. All of a sudden. So anyway, let's watch this clip. You will see on the left what the Hinkle version is. And you will see on the right what the original uh, statement by Richard Wolf is. The parallel here is... Once upon a time, people thought of all workers as being the same thing. And the folks had to come along and say, no, turns out your racial difference matters. Turns out your gender difference matters. Turns out, and then fill in the blank, in a way, Marxism does that in, in terms of something you have to learn to understand before you recognize it when it's staring you in the face. To use the statement that if you are... Um not an employer, you're an employee, you are by definition a worker. Is that too too broad of a statement to make? No, I mean, you know, in and of itself, no. It's a question of whether you contextualize such a remark, such a statement, such a sentence, in such a way that it doesn't uh, convey something which is incorrect, for example, that, it, that we're all the same, that, that the fact that I share the identity with, with John or Mary over there, that we are all employees or workers or something like that, that's fine. We are. We share that. And remember, he's a student of Hegel. Marx understands that everything is contradictory. I am like you because we are both workers. I am unlike you because you're productive and I'm unproductive. Or I'm unlike you because you're a female and I'm a male or you're black or I'm white or whatever it is. Again, I ask you all, why did Jackson Hinkle try to deceptively edit Richard Wolff, who is a socialist economist, to make it seem like Richard Wolff doesn't care about intersectionality and is against intersectionality 
when in the actual clip, Richard Wolff is talking about how important intersectionality is and how it cannot be overlooked. Yes, we are all oppressed people at the behest of capitalism, and we all have different needs, different requirements, different identities, and different struggles and different issues, but we can all unify under a common umbrella. And that's what we're advocating for. There is no reason, other than being a stupid fuckface, for someone who is a worker and poor to hate black people, to hate gay people, to hate trans people that are also workers and poor, other than the fact that they're a stupid fuckface. And Jackson Hinkle, again, thinks that talking about black issues, trans issues, gay issues, is distracting from the working class. And he's trying to appeal to authority to make himself look less like a clown. And in his appeals to authority, he is highly editing clips and basically completely twisting the actual answer that Richard Wolff is giving here. These things again, you're productive. I want you to look at what's being edited out here. And I'm unproductive or I'm unlike you because you're a female and I'm a male or you're black or I'm white or whatever it is that these things have to be given their recognition, their understanding that if you make a unity of everybody, it's got to be a unity. And here comes Hegel built on the disunity of your differences that can be done. But it has to be understood as a task, which is not accomplished. So again, I ask you, if Jackson Hinkle won the debate with me, which, by the way, again, I wasn't going in there with the mindset that there's going to be winners and losers. I was having a conversation about whether or not trans rights matter. He said, no, trans rights don't give a shit. He doesn't give a fuck about transgender people. In fact... Not only does, it's one thing to not care. Jackson thinks that caring about trans people is actually doing a disservice to the rest of the world. That when you say, hey, trans people get discriminated against in the workplace, that's actually worse than not caring. That's his opinion. So he, he pretends that he won a debate with me. Oh, I'm the winner. And then he got laughed at by thousands of random people who'd never heard of him before because he was trending on Twitter for being the main character of the day and the loser of the day that everyone laughed at. Then, now, he deleted that tweet, and now he's coping again by trying to highly edit someone else who he thinks people respect. Oh, I know people don't respect me, but they respect Richard Wolf. So let me try to edit something Richard Wolf said to make it look like he agrees with something that I said. Again, if you watch Jackson Hinkle, if you like never heard of me before and now you heard of me because of our conversation, how's it going? I've got a question for you. I know that Jackson Hinkle is dumb, but the worst part about this is that Jackson thinks you are dumb. He actually thinks that you are so fucking gullible and stupid that you're going to fall for his pretend victory tour? He thinks you are that dumb that he can edit a video, completely distort the meaning of the video to make himself look smart, and that you are going to fall for it. My question to you is, how dumb are you, and are you as dumb as Jackson Inkle thinks you are? Because if the answer is no, I suggest maybe moving along from that whole project. But again, folks, uh, worker rights matter. Nurses and teachers are not upholding capitalism. Social workers are not upholding capitalism. And all of these bizarre definitions, oh, you're PMC, I'm a worker. No, 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 no. All it is is a bunch of stupid fucking garbage. We are all oppressed people at the behest of capitalism. Capitalism has its fucking boot on all of our necks, and we all need to work together. If someone is poor and they vote for Trump and they hate transgender people, guess what? They're still poor, and I'll still fight for their right to have a house. That being said, I don't think they're going to fight for my right to have a house. Why? Because they're a selfish fucking loser. But guess what? There's a thing called evolution. You can change people's minds. 
So my thing is I think we should try to work together so that all workers, all poor people don't hate each other over religion, race, gender, sexual kinks or orientation. That's stupid. Imagine possibly giving a fine fuck what someone else's skin color is, what their gender- Oh, I'm not gonna work on a picket line with that person. They're a woman. Imagine how fucking stupid you are. The Jackson Inkle thinks that stupid people should be catered to. He thinks that bigotry and hatred is something you should cater to. Personally, I don't think so. And it seems that uh, Richard Wolf also doesn't think so. So, oops.